Good morning. I drove about 30 minutes from Sisters over San Ian Pass. I'm on my way to the Duffy Lake Trailhead to go hike into the Eight Lakes Basin in Mount Jefferson Wilderness, kind of on the west base of Mount Jefferson and Three Finger Jack. Uh, there's a bunch of big and small lakes up there. I'm hoping to check out Duffy Lake, Mowich Lake, and then maybe make it all the way over to the other end of the basin to see Jorn Lake as my turnaround point. Uh, it looks like there were some trail reports that there's still a good bit of snow up at the top of the basin, so I'm not sure how far I'll actually make it. Um, and then I'll make a side trip over to try to check out Saniam Lake as well. Heard the, saw the views are supposed to be really good there. Um, and I'm going to do some fishing, of course. There's all these lakes are stocked with brook trout, rainbow trout, cutthroat trout. So I got my fishing pole. I'm expecting some windy conditions and also a lot of skeeters. So I don't even know how, how much I'm going to be able to do fishing today, but that's the plan for the day. I'm almost to the trailhead, so let's get ready to roll. There we go. <clears throat> Starting here, hiking this way up to Mowich Lake, hopefully to Jorn Lake. Might take this Dixie Lakes Trail and then over to Saniam Lake. And back. According to my map, there's a, a cold spring source, like right there, so excellent place to get some drinking water. North San Am River crossing? Oh, the skeeters. Better keep moving. The trail's over there. I think I'm just gonna People have been doing the same thing. Beautiful here. Moving on, uh, Duffy Lake's right next to me. I'm at the second of two junctions that are on the way for Saniam Lake, so I'm gonna probably loop up through Dixie Lakes and Meadows and come back down uh, one of these side trails from Saniam Lake, hopefully. I'm just getting to Mowich Lake. You can, well, maybe you see it through the trees there. Um, and the snow patches have begun. Uh, given how much snow is here at Mowich, that tells me I probably won't make it to Jorn. I still might make a side trip up to San Yam, but let's get up. So, this trail doesn't really go down to Mowich Lake, like to the shore. Um, and just looking at the shore access here, it's really shallow for like quite a ways out there. So, hmm. enjoying the view. Um, I'm gonna keep trekking up the hill from here and see how snowy it is. Cause just as fast as I was in the patches of snow, I was back out of them. So, I don't know. Let's go check it out.
hiking above Mowich Lake. Uh, just a smidge over five miles in. So guaranteed at least a five mile walk back out. Um, and according to my map, the Dixie Lakes Trail is up on this ridge just above me. Uh, I'm, I'm, there's really not, not nearly as much snow as I expected there was going to be when I first got to Mowich, so we shall continue onward with the mission. It looks like if you were willing to bushwhack down to the shore, good access to deep water. But uh, I got more exploring to do. There's Red Butte, I guess. People like to scramble up there. Not sure there's really a trail. User trail, maybe. But that's a thing. The sign fell down, but here is my turnoff for Dixie Lakes to head to Sanium Lake. So it's only noon. I'm about 6.2 miles into the hike. <laughs> oh, skeeters are bad here. Um, I had just passed Alice Lake. <sighs> Holy smokes. Yeah, the skeeters are like really bad on this side of the hill. And now that I'm uh, all the way out here looking at the 400 feet of elevation gain that I'd have to lose and then come back up to get all the way to Jorn Lake and with quite a bit of snow around. I think I'm just gonna, um, I'm turning around, going back, and taking the Dixie Lakes Trail to see if I can get to Sanium Lake, because if that doesn't work out, then I'm still gonna have to backtrack quite a ways down the Duffy Lake Trail, so. Dixie Lakes over there. One of the Dixie Lakes. Um, lots and lots of blowdown across this trail. It's not really a popular like main route, so I'm guessing that it doesn't really get any attention from the, the trail crews or not as often. Oh, and there's zoom in. There's the other Dixie Lake, I think. I think you have to kind of bushwhack to, at least to get to the north one. You gotta bushwhack over there, there's no trail. I read about this. Um, the trail just kind of dead ends here. I see other footprints. It's muddy. Okay. Um, ooh. Should have stayed out of this. Sanium Lake this way, 
back to Duffy Lake and the Duffy Lake Trailhead that way. Lunch time. I got a chopped smoked salmon and cream cheese bagel, some bunions and applesauce. Um, yeah, it's nice here. There's some uh, there's some campsites around this lake. I was looking across the way. I don't know if you can see this. There's a bank over there that looks like there's more campsites. I saw the little trail that went over there, I think. I think I went by that. So I'm gonna go check that out before I uh, call it a day. I just have had two definite bites on this rooster tail. So I'm gonna try it a few more times. Chipmunks. Well, back down to Duffy Lake I go. I decided to take that trout home with me for dinner because after hiking 10, over 10 miles with more to go and that being the only fish I caught and it being worth frying up and me being likely to just go spend like $15 on dinner when I got back to town because I had no dinner plans. Uh, yeah. Heck yeah, I'm gonna fry up some trout for dinner. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully this was helpful or at least entertaining. And I wish you a good summer and lots of good adventures. Take care.